So the first one will be maybe um, a standard map and we go to create a cellular map. We can uh, use the map. Sorry. Now, so we can see how it is looking. So let's copy there as an instance. Now we can rise up, say to use the existing mapping. And then let's start to use this one. Okay, so we are starting to see how it's looking. So that's the map. Let's go to F the fractal. But again, before the displays, let's go to have another tube smooth. Okay, so we have the right detail now. And um, let's go to invert and scale this map. So I like to create detail on a bigger scale. Let's see, without it, okay. So you see we have this kind of look. Let's see to check with a bigger scale. Let's center the luminance and let's go higher. Okay, so you see we have this rocky effects over the entire surface. Maybe we can do it bigger. Let's go for 200. And maybe let's remove the adaptive and let's have a little bit more iteration, maybe four and maybe a little bit more. Okay, so we have a really uh, rocky structure all over, and that's nice. But I like obviously to tweak uh, more the detail there because I like to have a more a strange look for uh, the surface. So I like to add some detail. Uh, the first thing we can do is to have uh, uh, customization there for the map. So let's go for a composite map. Keep all maps. So this one is still visible. Let's save. And let's add a new layer. The second layer can be again uh, a cellular because the cellular is really nice to give a lot of detail. Let's go for the chip. And let's go for a bigger scale. Maybe this one can be still bigger, but I like before to change the scaling. So let's go there to uh, 0 0.5. Okay, so you see we have this strange rocky structure all over. And let's go to have a little bit of fractalization and maybe without the adaptive and maybe with two. So it is not so much. And maybe it can be still longer so we have this rocky structure all over so let's see how we can mix this one if we try to have the uh, multiply we have you see that's with and that's without so we have the rocky structure over it and we have the uh, noisy level all around so uh, it's a nice way to uh, to create the structure there uh, if we like to make it more visible, we can, for example, make a copy, clone this one as an instance, let's say. So if we change this one, the other one will be changed again. And we can say multiply. And this way, you see, we have a little bit more presence of this map because we are removing still more detail for uh, the previous map. And I mean this one. This one can be tweaked if needed. So uh, we can see, for example, what happened if we go to have the black. So you see we have more rocky effects. If we go to white, 
you see that we have less detail but we are starting to have some really nice detail like rocky effects over it and that's really nice so you see it is really really nice to have all this detail over the structure and it gives a lot of detail um, we can have maybe Mm, just a little bit less usage for this one. Let's go to F maybe uh, 0 0.5 to see if we can have or maybe 0 0.75. Okay, just a little bit of tweaking over the rock. So uh, if we like to have some flat area, we have obviously the possibility to go there and add another layer. And this time we can try to simulate the, uh, the staff using, again, a cellular. Um, again, we go for chip. Again, we go for bigger area. And let's say that this time maybe we can use bigger and bigger area. So something like that. And if we like to have flat area, we need the black area there and the white on the other side. So it should be something like uh, an invert. So you see we have this kind of effects over the map. Let's see what happens if we go to have a multiply. So you can see that we are removing some part creating flat area. And that's really nice because we have some details, some uh, linear detail and then we have some a flat area as this one let's save and let's go to have another detail over it so i like to add a really um, chaotic stuff all over the surface something that can be simulated i think again using a cellular keep all map um I'm oh, sorry, oh, that's wrong. So this one is a copy uh, the schedule map. I made a mistake moving the uh, the map inside. So the new one is plus. We go for cellular, and we go again for a chip. Let's go for bigger sides this time. Let's go for twenty, for example. So it is not so big. Let's go for four for the repetition. And let's go for a fractalization. Let's go for a bigger sides. And it will be something that is just visible a little bit over the other. So let's go to have an addition. And let's go with, uh, with a really low value. Okay, I like to see, but before I think we need another layer of turbo smooth. Uh, now it will become really slow, but you know, uh, some turbo smooth will be visible just uh, over the render. So as you see, we have a lot of detail now over the, uh, the rocks. Um, and this one is the map that is controlling all this detail. So if we go to set two off, uh, it takes a little bit, but you see that we have less detail than before. Okay, we have again all the detail asked for, and we can try to see what happens if we have a uh, more little scaling, something like 100. Okay. You see that we have a lot of rocky effects over uh, this map. So uh, it is going to create a lot of detail, as you can see. And uh, I think I like to move a little bit some area there of the cave. But to do something like that, we have to save. And you know that we have the possibility to remove uh, some stuff. Like, you see, we can remove the displays, we can remove the turbo smooth and now the mesh will be uh, more simple to be used but you know we can also uh, set to off this one 
and going back to add less or more detail maybe this one can be removed let's see without to see if we can remove some artifacts and then let's go with the displays we'll use it because uh, it is really not bad so uh, let's set two of this one and this one too and let's pick there another edit poly to make some changes to the mesh there I like to rise up this area and we need again the free form let's try to use the uh, exaggerate I hope it will work let's try with a bigger strength let's go for 50 it needs more so I um, think we can have some problem let's go for the scale 2 Maybe the scale with a bigger size can be uh, a good choice. It is a little bit slow. So let's do this change also from this area. Let's see if we have. Uh, using the shaded and removing the display edges so it will be a little bit faster let's zoom in this area and let's see if we'll be uh, able okay you see uh, it can work but I like to do something more little just moving a little bit this area and then a little bit more okay and then let's go to see what happens when we see the other uh, detail so let's add the turbo smooth and then the displays okay I think uh, <clears throat> sorry it is really nice so close there then we uh, set to off all the uh, stuff we have there because in this way it will become faster to be used as you see uh, there near the camera we have not so much detail but we can tweak it and we can add also uh, another um, detailing to add more uh, more detail to the to the mesh and something that can be done too is we can optimize our mesh so uh, there this is uh, a mistake but you know our camera stay let's go to select the camera to see where is the camera it is there and we can for example pick this one and there we can use an edit poly and we can select uh, some face So we can select, for example, this area. And you see that uh, it is arriving there. So uh, we are talking about uh, 100,000 uh, polygons. So we can, for example, say to uh, let's shrink a little bit. So we'll go to have less selection maybe again so we'll have a little bit less selection there and then this part can be detached
detach this area it takes a little bit because it is really detailed okay we just deleted this area so now if we go to set the detail there you see that we have the detail just in the first part this part can be optimized so we can select the pro optimizer save and calculate the optimization so we we see just this part and this part is just to uh, close the environment so we can have a really low amount of polygons let's say 10 percent maybe also five percent and that's perfect so um now we have the basic environment as you see so we can start to have uh, let's say a plane and this plane will be used as water environment so let's move it and you see it will be maybe present just there or maybe we can maintain it just on one part uh, there so we can have maybe this part higher so we can think about having something like that there and then and this one will be water near and then we make a copy and this one is water far but it will be lower just a little bit of water there okay nice so uh if we go to render obviously we have nothing so interesting but i like to start playing with the uh the illumination 